Treating a patient isn't just a medical treatment, it's uh, you know, a humanistic act as well as a scientific endeavor. My name is Kirsten Brownson, and I'm a surgical breast oncologist here at Huntsman Cancer Institute. My path to medicine is kind of a circuitous one. My first career passion was classical ballet. I ended up with an injury from that. My injury was the first time that I really experienced the patient's point of view and I recognized how terrifying and vulnerable it can be to be a patient trying to navigate the healthcare system. Treating a patient isn't just a medical treatment, it's uh, you know, a humanistic act as well as a scientific endeavor. My perfect day would be going on a like, nature walk with my husband and my rescued greyhound, Queenie. Um, I love spending time with them uh, and living in Salt Lake is really a treasure that we get to be surrounded by all this natural beauty. And then I also really enjoy reading and writing, specifically writing poetry. One of the highlights of my intern year as a surgery resident was uh, a poem that I had written as a medical student got accepted into a competition at Dartmouth Medical Center and then was selected to be read aloud on a local syndicate of NPR. It was specifically a poem about being an observer of the process of cancer, kind of the competing sides of science and then also the, the soul or the spirit. My first ballet teacher uh, was named Maslin Larkin. She was really an inspiration to me because she was this beautiful uh, woman who just exuded passion for ballet. She was uh, one of the uh, five Native American uh, Indian ballerinas from Oklahoma, and I had the opportunity to study with her. My patients inspire me every day. Um, I deal mainly with female patients uh, as a breast cancer surgeon and I think that that has something to do with it. Women are um, so, uh, you know, open about their experience and that is really helpful to the healthcare provider in order to personalize the, um, the treatment journey for those patients. One of the reasons that breast cancer care has advanced so much in the last 20 years is because women are asking, why do I need this? Or are questioning their treatment and are engaging with their physician in their care. And I think that's really critical, again, towards my goal of personalized medicine uh, and uh, to delivering the best care for my patients.